before we get started, does anyone want to get out? As of um, May 30th of this year, the village's general fund was in a net deficit position, meaning that there is um, insufficient funds in that um, general fund. As we mentioned, the general fund is used to account for the majority of the village's day-to-day -day, uh, operations, including payroll and vendor payments. The village's special revenue fund and debt service fund, however, are in a positive position, but each of those funds are restricted funds, meaning you cannot borrow from one to give to the other. And that is what's causing, in part, uh, the financial crisis. What's next you can see is um, a graphic that depicts where we started as of April, where the village started as of April of 22, with positive of $5.6 million in the general fund, and where we are as of um, May of 2024, which is a negative $3.65 million. More than $3.5 million in the hole. Mayor Tiffany Henyard is accused of misusing money, and today she's nowhere to be found. Terrible. No yeah, response so, to repeated. Man, Tiffany on the run right now, man. <laughs> Tiffany making plans to get out of Dodge, man. Y'all know that. Yeah, hey, let me know what you think in the comments. It's crazy. It's 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 blasphemy, right? But you you know we gonna continue. We gonna let her keep on. Now now she's running around. She's hiding. Tiffany hiding like a mom. Cause you know Keith is out here rat to tat tatting like Machine Gun Kelly, and they are all in fear. They're all running in fear now. Yeah, it's quiet now. It's quiet now. Lane has spent the day in Dalton following the investigation into Henyard spending. Tara? Jim and Marie, former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot is the special investigator in this case. And like we first told you last night, not only did she find the village of Dalton is in significant debt, but she also found the village's credit card spending is out of control. Mayor Tiffany Henyard didn't respond to any of my requests today, and I'm told she's not in the building. No response to repeated interview requests. I tried to track down Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard in person today. Village employees told me she wasn't in the office and didn't say when she would be a day after this. A packed community meeting Thursday night, outburst after outburst. Community oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, now, now it's now it's now it's sounding the alarm. <laughs> Following special investigator Lori Lightfoot's limited examination of Dalton's finances, her report revealing as of May 31st, the village's general fund had a negative balance of $3.65 million. Lightfoot originally hired by trustees concerned about spending, like self-promoting taxpayer-funded billboards, ads, plus spending on lavish dinners and trips. Why are we going to these places? Uh, what's happening here? Dalton trustee Brittany Norwood sat down with the CBS News Chicago investigators in February, telling us then trustees were denied requested bank statements. You're having the same reaction that we did with this <laughs> With credit card spending out of control. Receipts for credit card purchases are rarely Provide. Lightfoot further uncovering spending that doesn't add up. The report shows $40,000 spent on Amazon purchases in one day. Money that's unaccounted for. With can somebody tell me, what can you spend $43,000 on <laughs> at Amazon? <laughs> like, like, they was balling. Like, they was beyond, like, out of control. <laughs> Somebody's going to jail. I need you to get dressed. Why? What the fuck's going on? You're going to jail.
And I bet you they think that they knew what they was doing. They absolutely did not know what they was doing. <laughs> I know you're not following what I'm saying anyway, right? That's, that's okay, that doesn't matter. The real question is this, was all this legal? Absolutely fucking not. That's clear. These are somebody using one of the credit cards. Another question lingering here, money spent on police overtime, with two officers racking up six figures in pure OT. $108,000 and $114,000. The deputy chief just fired here last week, Louis Lacey, paid $96,000 in overtime. This is a war. Act accordingly. Sir, it's been an honor to serve with you. I reached all of the village's trustees in reporting this story today. As of right now, I have not heard back from one of them. Of course, we also haven't heard back from Mayor Tiffany Henyard. If any of that changes, we'll update the story that's up on our website right now, where you can find all of our coverage of these issues here in Dalton. Reporting live in Dalton this afternoon, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News, Chicago. Terrific. Okay, so she blew through. I gotta pause this. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, a few moments later. Five million. Basically, five million six hundred thousand. When she first became mayor. But but that was in twenty twenty two. She had a surplus. That means she had money in the wallet. But then, where at May 2024, she was already in a deficit, and she still spent three point six hundred. She spent almost nine million dollars. I know this is hard for you, but winter is coming. We know what's coming with it. We can't face it alone. Nine million dollars with no money coming in. That's basically what this graph is. She spent nine million dollars, wasn't paying the contractors. They're all still sitting there. This is what she's trying to say. They're still sitting there waiting to get paid. Now, remember, her contractors, the ones she chose, are overpaid by galactic proportions. This, this is a fucking disaster. So, they're going to keep saying, oh, they're almost 5 million, 4 million, 6 million in debt. No. It is a lot higher because she does not have all the records. And through this whole meeting, when you watch it on different channels, she's going to say it. I ain't got all the records. Sh shit, I don't even think she got half of the records. <laughs> they are Dalton broke. Dalton broke. Period. That that's it. But 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 you know, let, let, let's continue. Oh my God. Talk about. Ooh. Grab your weapons and load your ammo. Ooh. Hey, Rose. How do I turn the safety off of my weapon? Ah! And let me repeat that the village has not complied with these statutory requirements since fiscal year 2021. There's no annual financial report available after 2021 and no audited financial statements um, uh, after 2021. So what that means is the information that we're providing you has not been thoroughly audited by a CPA, but we do have information coming from an, uh, an entity that essentially serves um, as the finance department um, of the village. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so what she's basically saying is they've not filed taxes. <laughs> Yo, know, the foot of village of Dalton. They filed no taxes. If you don't file taxes, you cannot get grants. Now, y'all know, and I'm, I'm trying to take shortcuts because we got to make this as short as possible because it was a long live uh, tonight, but... Y'all know that without them filing taxes, 
right? And they filed none since she became mayor. They can't get grants. They, they, they don't get nothing from the government. You know how she says, oh, I'm bringing all this money. I got grants. I got that. Man, it's all bullshit. Ain't nobody filed no taxes. I thank you, uh, Trustee. A couple of updates uh, since the uh, meeting on Monday night, which uh, a lot of items were brought out, uh, specifically uh, the village's finances and why we're here tonight to go into more detail. Um, but the, the board has decided to implement a hiring freeze. Uh, it was not able to be put on this agenda uh, in time, but uh, they want to know that uh, let the residents know that there's going to be a hiring freeze. Uh, that the village is just not able to hire any more employees at, uh, in any department. Uh, there were some layoffs, and there's uh, most likely going to be more layoffs, unfortunately, in the future. Um, since Monday's meeting, there's also been a number of instances of harassment in the workplace, threats to employees and elected officials. Uh, I have advised uh, all staff and employees to, to document those incidents. Uh, and we are going to forward them to the Cook County Sheriff's Police Department, who, by ordinance, is the Inspector General for the Village of Dalton. Uh, and they will have the, uh, the stronger arm to take action uh, in regards to workplace harassment, uh, retaliation, uh, political work happening in the workplace, um, those kind of things. We, the, the ordinance, you can get a copy of it. It was passed uh, about 10 years ago. Uh, but the, the clerk can get a copy and post it, and I think it would be a good idea to let everyone know what the sheriff is uh, uh, authorized to look into, and it's a lot of it. Um, well, once again, uh, based on the board's directive, uh, different individuals aren't following the board's directive. Uh, there was a deputy chief that was placed on administrative leave. He disregarded that and showed up the very next day. He then received a notice that he was terminated. Why y'all so quiet? That was childish, man. That wasn't even called for. Now, I came out here to see. Uh, and he. 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 Chief Lacey was terminated. That's what they're talking about. Acting Chief Lacey. Despite being notified that he was terminated and in discussions with the, uh, the Fraternal Order of Police, the FOP, uh, he again showed up today. Uh, once again, the mayor has changed the locks at the Village Hall. You all, you all, everyone will recall how orderly and how nice it was to walk into the Village Board meeting on Monday night when the uh, uh, Madam Clerk and the trustees had uh, key fobs to get into the Village. Uh, once again, this is about the third time that she has changed the locks, so the elected officials uh, do not have access and cannot get into uh, the, the village hall, uh, which belongs to the people. I got a call from an attorney this afternoon who unfortunately says I have a couple lawsuits that I have to file against the village. Um, it's been pending in court and I can't serve the village because I can't get to the clerk because the, uh, the doors to the village hall are locked. So uh, it, it's causing some real issues and federal judges are, uh, are aware of what's going on. Um, but the locks have changed. Uh, emails were shut off, and uh, I had heard that uh, uh, Mr. Lacey and others have brought in their own IT person in an effort to gain access to their uh, emails that were shut down. Uh, I don't know the status of that, but there's a lot of stuff that happens really, really quick. Um, things happen every day. You just cannot believe what's going on with this administration. No, no, we as the public, we can believe that. <laughs> we can believe that shit. <laughs> we'll get to another uh, closer breakdown of what's going on with Lacey, what's going on with these employees that keep showing up after they have been let go by the trustees, legally, by law. Um, yeah, it's a mess. Can you imagine firing someone and then they show back up for work the next day? <laughs> Well, that's what they're going through right now. But we're going to continue and stay focused. But this is getting to the business. Please like, comment, and subscribe. There will be a part two, probably a part three, to this whole fiasco of this thing. Uh, Lori Lightfoot giving her report because 
Now we have the information. Now we have the proof. They have robbed Dalton. They have robbed the town. I guess we're not going to do anything now, right? I'm sorry, man. You don't have to be sorry. It wasn't your fault. That's it, man. It's game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do?